right guys, it is Sunday morning, bright and early, 8 a.m. Just finished kind of doing some email stuff like that, but it is time to finish meal prep for the week. Really excited about some of the dishes. I think they turned out really good. Let's get started. So I'm sitting here plating um, all my dishes for this week, and I have a recipe for a sweet potato pie. Made in the past, it's really good, sugar-free, really healthy, got a lot of extra healthy ingredients in it. I tried the same thing with butternut squash this week. Wow, you are not missing anything by switching from sweet potato to butternut squash. So if you're getting the same flavor, the same consistency, the same volume with something that's a lot less carbs, why not? It's a lot healthier, just a thought. So yesterday, Jeff actually came over and helped me grill a little bit. My mom did her thing with pancakes today, but probably the smoothest most efficient meal prep I've done so far. I'd like to think it's because I'm learning every time that I'm getting a little more efficient, but it also helps to have help. So thank you guys for helping me out this week. We were actually done with over 200 meals by 3 p.m. So definitely good there. Now I've got a couple things to wrap up and clean and I will be done going to Jackson tomorrow to deliver more meals, but successful prep Thank you guys so much. Good afternoon, beautiful friends. It is another marvelous Monday, motivation Monday, whatever you wanna call it. But I had a really good meal prep this weekend. Everything went really smooth. Um, no last minute grocery trips, no spills. Thank goodness. I think it's the first weekend I've gone without spilling anything major. But I just got to the gym here in Jackson, Club 24. Got the coolers back there for, excuse me. For meal prep pickup, um, got a bunch of meals to deliver up here. So I'm gonna go work out and wait on everybody to come pick up their meals. Kill two birds with one stone. But as you can see from the look of my face, a little tired. When you work 40 plus hours over the weekend, Mondays are kind of brutal. Um, and Tuesdays are just as bad because I'm not gonna get until late tonight. So Tuesday is kind of like my one day to slow down a little bit, even though I have a busy schedule tomorrow. Um, but saying that, hey, I love it, man. I love the grind. Everything's going really good. Got some big things planned. So let's go get a workout in. I need to. It's been two days since I've worked out. Um, just an update on the transformation. I hit my lowest weigh-in to date this morning. Um, been weighing, you know, about 209, 208 the last about week. But this morning, 207. So gaining on it, inch by inch, pound by pound. I'm holding water because I had nukes two days this weekend. Yeah, I'm addicted. It's so easy though, nukes, because they eat a lot of pickled foods, which is really good for your gut bacteria, by the way. But I ate a lot of pickled foods so that holds a lot of sodium, which makes me hold a lot of water. Um, so I'm gonna eat really clean this week and try to drop off some of that water weight and see where it gets to. Oh, leave me alone. I'm gonna do a push day today. I'm gonna combine chest and shoulders and see where it gets me. So let's go lift some weight. Yeah. You ready? Let's go. Bet. Yo, once again I'm back around. Uh, real shit back in style. Uh, haters reconcile. Uh, I'm so back and proud. First class tickets now. Uh, feet all in the eye. Uh, everybody looking down. Everybody get red when you drown, huh? Looking me up. I'm putting it down. You picking it up. Checking the models, they want us to go to college just so we can be stuck Go to school to make a living, or teach yourself to make a fortune Common sense, welcome to the apocalypse, bitch, I'm one of the horsemen I don't need your endorsement, I don't need reinforcement Giving you your last warning, cause I'm at my prime Yeah I'm at my I'm at my prime Whoa uh, Have I gone too far? You detect something different If you look inside my head 
Would you say something's missing? If you could give all your riches just to say the word, would you risk it? These politicians so old can't tell if the dead where they living. Better ask Kathy Griffin. You know I like to raise stakes. We was always taught to hit the gas. We ain't even know the name.